Stand Lights are now to an art show with local, national, and international artists coming together at this year's Harlem Fine Art Show. And here to tell us all about it is Dion Clark, founder of the show. Thank you so much for being with us. Oh, it's my pleasure to be in the city of Chicago. Yes, you're from New York. Welcome. Yes. So tell me about the mission, your mission for this show. Well, the Harlem Fine Art Show is the largest African diasporic art show that travels throughout the United States. It's a show that empowers artists and it really kind of brings what we call cultural nutrition and understanding about some of the great artists in the past and the present and some of the leading contemporary artists also. And we often hear about that cultural explosion that took place in Harlem in the 20s and that same kind of creative explosion happened here in Chicago in the 30s. Why do you feel like it's so important, particularly in this day and age, to explore that and, and to continue exposing that? Well, it's, it's, it's the Harlem Renaissance in the Brownsville, mm -hmm. uh, Bronzeville mm -hmm. type of experience. It's, it's, it's Chicago and that connection and the connection of um, Elizabeth Catlett, Jacob Lawrence, um, some of the fascinating individuals that had the opportunity to study in, in, in Harlem during that renaissance and really kind of built that hybrid that came back to Chicago and then exploded around the country in these days and times when it's so challenging to see that cultural energy and that understanding of, of the past, present, and future, mm -hmm. we're kind of bringing it all back and, and really kind of reviving that particular initiative and those particular efforts. Because if we, as we look at the school systems now, for example, mm -hmm. where, where our arts programs are being gutted and we at the Harlem Fine Art Show, we bring that culture in regards to we're doing a four-day show. And one of my pet peeves is we're actually partnering with the Chicago school systems. Mm. We're opening up our show from Friday from 9 o'clock in the morning till 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And the kids are going to come in and get that culture. We're going to see those um, little eyes light up the um, light bulb come to, to play and really mm -hmm. giving them an understanding of meeting, greeting the artist. Mm -hmm. And again, four days of great shows. That is so great. And we also have some pictures, I believe, of some artwork from the show in years past. Tell us, what can we expect uh, for this year? Well, what artists and, and what kind of pieces? You're going to see the great Woodrow Nash. Woodrow Nash is in town. He'll, he'll be bringing some of his exquisite um, sculptures. You'll see, um, again, um, um, Ted Ellis. You'll see uh, Jonathan Romaine, a local, um, a local artist throughout the uh, area itself. You'll see some of the classic guys, and then you'll see regional artists also. So you'll see a nice combination package, and it'll be not only sculptors, not only um, paintings, but mixed-medium type of opportunities. Um, black art in America is going to be mm -hmm. one of our focal points here. Great. And besides the art, uh -huh. we're going to have some lecture series okay. that kind of talk about appraising, um, um, purchasing art, and collecting art in a real right. positive type of manner. Art and education. All right, we want to make sure we let people know that this show runs from October 29th to November 1st at Merchandise Mart uh, HFS.org. That's where you can go uh, to get tickets for this, this uh, wonderful show. And thank you again so much for being here with us and, and we look forward to seeing everything that it has to offer. And I think this is one of, will be one of the great American types of art shows that everybody should partake in. Mm -hmm. And please come October 29th through November 1st and it's hfas.org. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Anthony.